H-1B visa, U.S. planning to resume visa stamping in USA. In a move that could benefit tens of thousands of foreign tech workers on H-1B and L-1 visas, the U.S. is planning to resume domestic visa revalidation in certain categories on a pilot basis with the goal of scaling it up in the next few years. The pilot project, to be launched later this year, when fully implemented, would be a big relief to thousands of Indian tech professionals in the United States. Until 2004, certain categories of non-immigrant visas, particularly the H-1B, could be renewed or stamped inside the U.S. After that, for renewal of these visas, in particular, those on H-1B, the foreign tech workers have to go out of the country, mostly to their own country, to get the H-1B extension stamped on their passport. For all the H-1B visa holders, when their visa is renewed, they need to get their passports stamped with renewal dates. This is required if they wish to travel outside of the U.S. and re-enter the U.S. As of now, H-1B visa restamping is not allowed within the U.S. Restamping can only be done at any U.S. consulate. This was a big inconvenience for foreign guest workers and also for their employees, particularly at a time when the visa wait time is more than 800 days or more than two years. The much sought-after H-1B visas are issued for three years at a time. The H-1B visa is a non-immigrant visa that allows U.S. companies to employ foreign workers in specialty occupations that require theoretical or technical expertise. Technology companies depend on it to hire tens of thousands of employees each year from countries like India and China. We are working in earnest on plans to restart the service for certain petition-based NIV categories, and we hope to have a pilot up and running later this year. This would eliminate the need for these applicants to travel abroad to renew visas, a State Department spokesperson told PTI. The State Department facilitated domestic visa revalidation until 2004 for applicants who were physically present in the U.S. and renewing a visa in certain petition-based non-immigrant visa, NIV, categories, the official said. We cannot comment on how many visa holders would be initially eligible, but the pilot would begin with a small number of cases before scaling over the following one to two years said the State Department spokesperson in response to a question. Over the past few months, the Biden administration has taken several steps to streamline the visa processing system and reduce inconveniences. Notably, this was one of the recommendations of the President's Advisory Commission on Asian Americans, Native Hawaiians, and Pacific Islanders, which now seems to have been implemented by the State Department. Under the existing rule, that came into force in 2004. The procedure for restamping H 1B and L visas is to visit the home country and submit their H 1 and L 1 visas, passports, and documents by way of a Dropbox or interview. People have to wait months or years for H 1B visa stamping, or sometimes they get no response after submitting all documents and get stuck for over two years in their home country. While their families are waiting in the U.S. for him, her to come back, the Presidential Commission had argued in one of its meetings last year. Moved by a commission member, Ajay Jain Butoria from Silicon Valley, the Presidential Commission recommended that H-1B and L visas be allowed for restamping in the U.S. by U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS. It urged the USCIS to establish a separate department or unit to handle restamping of renewed H-1B and L visas within the U.S. The commission felt that the whole process has proven to be very painful for legal immigrants who are invited to work here in the U.S. to support the U.S. companies and the economy 